Yo, 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 it's Joe and the Goodman here to talk boxing. Let's get right into it. So this is my prediction for David Benavides versus Demetrius Andrade. This is Demetrius Andrade's second fight at super middleweight. So for a fight like this, he has my respect. Personally, if I was in Andrade's team, let's have one more fight at 168 to get more used to the weight class. Nonetheless, David Benavides has my respect. He fought Caleb Plant this year and it was a good fight. David Benavides won brutally and now he's fighting a highly skilled technician in Demetrius Andrade. So, I have to respect that. David Benavides wanted to fight Canelo and so did Demetrius Andrade. But this fight between them, I can't lie, this is a good fight, man. Um, it's highly competitive. Both men are undefeated. They've never tasted defeat. So, you know, this fight feels like it's coming fresh out of the oven, even though Demetrius Andrade is 37 years old. Um, I must say, though, I'm kind of upset about the promotion for this fight. I think it deserves a lot of promotion because it's a huge fight at 168. But it's November. You know what I mean? And I still haven't seen one All Access episode from Showtime. I mean, the fight is going to happen on November 25th. Like, Showtime is going to end this year. And they should have just went all out, you know what I'm saying? But it's cool, you know, because I consider myself a hardcore boxing fan. And I think this is a treat for fans, isn't it? Especially fans of the sport, like, like you know, they could have done better. But, you know, I've watched some tape on Demetrius Andrade and... Ah, oh, man, he's fight with Demon Nicholson, man. He does this thing where, as he's throwing combinations, he switches from Southpaw to Orthodox for, like, two seconds and then goes back to Southpaw, you know what I mean? While still throwing combinations. Like, I just thought that was impressive, but... I believe going into this fight, Andrade is the most skilled fighter. When it comes to punch variation... Andrade knows how to switch it up. He knows how to vary his punches. You know, he has a high ring IQ. When he throws his combinations, he's throwing headshots, body shots. You know, he's touching you all over the body, bro. And I actually edge speed a bit more to Andrade. I think when it comes to speed in terms of punch volume, I think Benavides has the edge. But when it comes to seeing an opportunity... And hitting that target as quickly as you can. I think Andrade has the edge in that aspect. And Andrade has that style of fighting that can be nice to watch. He makes you really appreciate the sweet science of boxing. His punch selection is one of the best in boxing. And you don't really know what shot he's going to throw next. If you stand mid-range with Andrade and try to box with this guy. Your head's going to be hurting because he's going to make you think in that ring. He's going to make you think to the point you're scratching your thoughts. This guy's going to frustrate you. I don't really like Andrade's footwork because I like to watch fighters who are light on their feet but at times can be still well, can still well be grounded, you know what I mean? But um, he knows when to move his feet and when to stay planted, I guess. So, you know, his feet is his defence. Let me say this, yeah, Andrade's angles to throw punches are crazy because he throws his shots at weird angles and it's like, how do you defend shots that come from different directions? Because Andrade crouches down really low when he throws shots at angles, sometimes it looks like Luffy when he goes into gear second, but he's throwing shots at angles that makes it hard for his ops to counter or defend. So... You know, it's crazy how, like, he does that. But as skillful of a fighter Andrade is, I don't think his skill will matter if he doesn't have respectable power to make Benavides think twice. If Andrade's power don't make Benavides' legs wobble, even once in the fight, then I got David Benavides beating up Andrade. Because as the rounds go by... David Benavides slowly grinds down his opponents. Like, he slowly grinds down his opponents. And I think his conditioning will be the top, will be top-notch for this fight. I think in terms of durability, 
being that he's the bigger and younger man, he's going to be able to withstand way more punishment than Andrade. Andrade is 37 years old. As much as I like to like, this fight is big, but I have to be honest, Andrade is 37 years old. So, you know, you know boxing is a young man's sport. So, it's like the experience of Andrade versus the youthfulness of Benavides. You know what I mean? I think Benavides is a great inside fighter. I think he'll be stronger than Andrade on the inside. I've never seen Andrade fight someone who is as strong and relentless as a David Benavides. But at the same time, I've never seen David Benavides fight someone as highly skilled as Andrade. You could make the point that Caleb Plant has skill, but I think Andrade's skill set is a lot more deeper. And I don't think he's a front runner. So what do I mean by front runner? If or when the fight goes past six rounds, I don't think Andrade's skill will diminish. But I actually believe his skill will start to show more as the fight goes on. The only thing I feel Andrade needs to work on is making sure his punches feel like a thick piece of iron. I don't care how skillful you are, bro. A fighting style like David Benavidez doesn't respect skill. It respects power. So if you don't have power, your skill won't really matter. That's what I think, but I could be wrong. So my prediction will be based on if Andrade's power is there or not. But if David Benavidez eats Andrade's power like a Scooby snack, then I got him stopping Andrade because, you know, now he knows Andrade's power has no effect on his chin. So I see Benavidez closing the gap, throwing his volume punches and just smothering Andrade until his fighting spirit is crushed. And there's a saying, you can run but you can't hide. So when David finds Andrade in that ring, Andrade's power needs to be there to, to just put that, you know, that, that little respect there between you know, him and Benavidez, you know what I'm saying? I don't know how big the ring's going to be. And I don't know who the ref is for the fight. But let's say it's a very big ring and the ref's Kenny Bayless. I think Kenny Bayless will help Andrade win the fight. <laughs> yeah, because Kenny Bayless hates inside fighting. Let's be real, fam. And that's why David Benavidez complained about him in the post-fight when he fought Caleb, you know. Um... He felt like Kenny didn't do a great job warning, uh, warning Caleb Plant about the excessive clinching. And every time David felt effective in the inside, Kenny would break it up. So he felt like Kenny robbed him from getting a stoppage. I personally think Kenny Bayless does better refereeing fights while both men want to box because there's less clinching. I feel like the fight in the center of the ring would favor Andrade because them ropes is where David wants you to be he wants you to be near them ropes trying to get your stamina trying to catch your breath so that he could just you know devour you with volume punches you know what i'm saying and um you see how i said andrade makes you think in that ring where he makes your head where he makes your makes you scratch your thoughts benavidez makes you work in that ring this guy will will increase your blood pressure your blood flow your your heart rate is going to be increasing I feel like David Benavidez can beat Demetrius Andrade by thinking less and just doing more. If David Benavidez even thinks about having a boxing match, he's lost his fight, bro. Because I don't think that's his element. His element is not to outthink you. His element is to outwill you. Body, mind, and spirit. He tries to crush that fighting spirit you have and this is the way i see the fight the less he thinks the more he's gonna he's gonna be able to do so if he goes in that ring thinking that he's gonna outthink a thinker who outthinks fighters then he's gonna get outthinked to a point decision but if he goes in there implements his game plan becomes more intuitive you know sets the pace of the fight sets the tempo and becomes less reactive and you know that's when i think the fight will turn to his favor I think one of my favorite punches from David Benavidez is his short uppercuts. I think that's going to mess up Andrade's equilibrium um, if he gets caught with one of them. If this fight happened five years ago, I would have leaned towards Andrade. But this is the right time for Benavidez. So I'm going with him. I don't think David Benavidez's skill is going to be a big factor on why he's going to win this fight. I think it's going to come 
um, down to his youthfulness, his strength, his size. I think that I think David Benavides shows a lot of grit in his fights, and I think he got that dog in him. I definitely do believe this. And don't get me wrong, yeah, David Benavides has skill, but I don't think his skill plays a factor. Um, not not entirely like on why he's gonna beat Demetrius Andrade. I think his size, he's got good reflexes. I haven't seen Andrade show dog before. And, you know, I don't know how much dog you have at 37 years old. I don't think he's ever had to do, to dig deep because Andrade is such a skilled operator. So I don't think no one's ever pushed him to a point where he has to, like, show a lot of heart. But I could be wrong, though. Um, My prediction, if I had to pick someone, though, I'm going to go with David Benavides because I feel like, you know, um, yeah, just by the facts, as I've just said, um, I think... Um, he's going to win on points or he's going to stop Andrade. But I would say, I would lean to him winning on points. But just him being the victor, you know, just a bit him having the victory. I like both men, actually, and especially David, because I've watched some interviews and he's a very level-headed individual. He has no hate in his heart for no fighter and he's very humble and honest and he seems down to earth. He's all about fighting the best. So he's a promising fighter, man. Um, he even had thoughts about fighting Dimitri Bivol Batavyev, and I think um, he's going to be a threat when he goes to the light heavyweight division. Um, I'm just so excited to see what's next for him after this fight as well, and I can't wait to see this fight. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section on who you think is going to win this fight, and be sure to like this video because it's good for the algorithm. JG out.